What is up, 7AJH? Happy Friday. I hope you're looking forward to the weekend. It's been absolutely lovely speaking to so many of you over the past week or so, uh, over the past couple of weeks or so. Um, do tell your folks if I haven't managed to get through and I've left uh, messages, uh, so just pop me an email if they can, just letting me know when to get all and have a catch up. Uh, but otherwise, on to our important agenda of today, we have the Teacher Challenge. And joining us today is our wonderful, is my wonderful colleague and fan of Fluffy Pens, Miss Cavadini. Hello, Year 7. Uh, welcome to Miss Cavadini's quiz. <laughs> So, Mr. Hansen sent me the quiz. I told him how terrible I am, so I apologize for that. <laughs> Let's get started. So, you're already looking at this flag. I'm laughing because I have no idea. So, can you name the country as its capital? No, I cannot do that. Um, I would say that it's somewhere in Africa, just because I think it's kind of seen them somewhere before. And I am going to say, I'm going to say Na Kenya and Nairobi, just only because it's one of the only countries I'm the capital of. <laughs> okay, next one. My God, name the elevator. Oh my God. Now you know I'm a language teacher because I don't know anything about geography or science. Um, oh, and oh. Um, no idea. I'm gonna say, I'm going to say aluminium just because there is an M in it. I have no idea. I'm sorry, I'm embarrassing. Sorry. Next one. I'm even terrible at clicking. Oh my god, mental math. <laughs> Miss Masters will kill me if I get this wrong. So now it's good that there is brackets so i know i don't have to do bit mass uh so two for one plus 56 uh, so two for one six so seven uh five and uh, four nine so 297 first step four and ten minus 497 so uh not 207 oh so 410 minus 300 is 110 and then I need three, so 113. 113, final answer. That's right. Next one. What do cows drink? I know this one, because I had it before in a, in a pub quiz. <laughs> you see, doing pub quiz is good. Water, they drink water, because last time I said milk, and <laughs> now I know it's water. You see, you learn from your mistakes, people. Water, final answer. Now, next one. Grammar time. I need to be good at this because I'm a language teacher and I've, grammar is my life. What is wrong with the following sentence? There are, there are, how did you say it? They are too many cars on the road today. Should be there are. T H E R E space R. So there are. Oh, answer. Oh, I thought there was one more. Okay, so uh, number one. Afghanistan and Kabul. I knew I was completely wrong, but <laughs> so now I'll probably remember this. Um, oh my god, how did you expect me to know this? Uh, is that even a word? Okay, more than uh, how to pronounce it. I apologize, uh, definitely wrong. That's a good start. Uh, 113, I got that. Very good, very good, very, very good. Oh, sorry. Next one. Water. I knew that. That was good. And they, there are. Very good. I'm not too bad. Not too bad. So, hope you enjoyed the quiz. Apologize <laughs> for the silliness. And that's it. Have a great day. Bye. A very credible performance there from Miss Cavadini, which puts her in. Joint fourth with three points, not bad at all. Well done, Miss Cavadini. Have a great weekend, guys. There is one final item of the agenda, Mr. Hunter's joke of the week. So here it is. My friend asked me to help him round up his 58 sheep. I said 60. Get it?
rounding up. Um, oh, and um, Eloise was keen to point out to me that she didn't think my jokes were funny. So I think the only way to interpret this is actually that's her low key saying she wishes she could hear more of them. So as a special treat, I'm going to put a second one in. So the second joke of the week is what did one elevator say to the other elevator? I think I'm coming down with, with something. Uh, so thank you very much, Year 7. Have a lovely week. Do contact me if there's anything you need from me. Um, otherwise, keep up the work.